beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful dm to df reading this is going to be a channel message from the divine masculine what they want to share and express in this moment and in this moment of what's going on right now is the total solar eclipse new moon in aries so i'm very excited to see what's going to come through i'm very interested um because the energies are like as if they're on steroids and we do usually feel things so much more around new moon or full moon but this is going to be amplified even more so um i do hope you're taking good care of yourself beautiful soul that's watching um i did do a divine masculine reading that went up earlier um to see how this new moon in aries solar eclipse is supporting the divine masculine and i did one for the divine feminine as well so if you haven't already, you can make sure you go and check those out. And the total solar eclipse new moon in Aries reading for Twin Flames is up as well. We went up yesterday. So let's see what's going to come through. And at this time, we do feel the darkness. You know, we feel as if this uncertainty and it's like, hello, is anybody here? We feel so alone. We don't know what's going on. Um, and with the, the fear intensifies as well. Um, so I thought I'd use the dark truths from beautiful Liz from Guided by Angels to see what's going on for the Divine Muskins in this moment. And these readings are so special because it helps you understand you, Divine Feminines, because you're one energy or one soul. And it helps you understand more about the journey um, through these messages from the Divine Masculine. So what is it you'd love to share and express on this very powerful day, Divine Masculine? What is it you want your Divine Feminine to know in this moment? Nice, clear message. What's coming through? I'm learning. You are unique and special and I have never met or known anyone else like you before. You've opened me up to things I've never knew were possible, like the power of this love. You have opened my heart to the truth and I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for you. I'm learning so much at this time. And you are so precious and special to me. And that was overwhelming for me that you come into my life. I wasn't ready to receive you then. Um, I, I didn't feel good enough. And what I'm learning is I am good enough. I am worthy of you because I'm facing those things, those fears that are within me that's, that stop me feeling as if I'm good enough. That is coming to light. So I'm learning by different situations, experiences that are going on in my life right now. Um, so you, the power of this love has changed my world. That love that is within me and what I felt when you come into my life is never left me. And it's got, it's helped me so much um, by being on this intense journey, different things that I've had to face. That's what's got me through. And I've tried to push it away. I've tried to distract myself. I'm not allowing myself to feel it, but I can't do that anymore. Um, and let's see what, that was a beautiful way to start the, uh, the, the reading today. I desire you, you are so sexy and hot. My body is on fire for you, I want you. I love you so much. I could eat you all up. <laughs> That's what's coming through. This divine masculine is feeling this passion, desire. The sacred love making energy is present. They're feeling quite horny and they, they find you so sexy. They're so attracted to you. They're feeling that pull towards you. It's very intense for them at this time. And Aries is far energy. As well so it's it is full on for the divine masculine at the moment so you're feeling this desire this passion as well if this reading is resonating i'm seeking the answers you are magnetic i can't stay away from you and i don't want to that scares me more than anything because you have the power over me that nobody else has what is this connection it's so different than anything else i'm trying to work out what it is I'm, i am seeking the answers i'm going deep within I'm learning by different things that are going on and, you know, it's confirmation here that they're feeling that magnetic pull for you to, to you, sorry. And huh, at times it's so annoying because it's like, what is it about you, Divine Feminines, that's 
making them feel that way and they don't like it it's something they have to work through that's what they're learning to feel safe that you make them feel this way that they feel this way about you um because they're not used to having you know that something having control over them <laughs> um the, the, the fact that this love has completely turned their world upside down and it is for the better and they're seeing that through these different lessons but it's annoying to it has been annoying it has been challenging because it's just like no i'm not i'm not having this but they're having to change their perception about relationships about you know things that they've learned over years and years this program the condition they're having to turn it all around and to see th with truth of who they are and that it is possible to to experience this love that they can't explain to anybody and it's okay that and realize that nobody has power over them it's just the love that they have for themselves which is you because you're one energy or one soul so that was very deep wasn't it I was in denial. I'm sorry I hid my real feelings from you. I have always been in love with you and I'm a coward for not admitting that to you sooner. I'm gaining the courage to tell you face to face, yeah. And they're hard lessons that I'm learning, the fact that I haven't told you the truth, that I have been denying how I truly feel about you. I've been hiding it. And I feel as if this divine masculine is that they're feeling, they're feeling this desire, and it's so intense they can't hide this anymore. They can't carry on the way things have been by them hiding their true feelings for you, and they want to tell you face to face, which is creating fear for them as well. Um, but the reason why they denied it, this to you is because they were denying themselves. And you, Divine Feminines, have got to take responsibility of this because you're one energy or one soul. You were denying yourself. There was somewhere you was not giving to yourself. Well, I would say many ways that you weren't giving to yourself. You were denying yourself and you was putting everything else first. And that may be very hard to swallow because, you know, the Divine Feminines just want to believe, you know, I was doing everything I was giving. I was loving to my, to my Divine Masculine. And, you know, they try and put it all on the divine masculine. But the truth is, you're one soul because, you know, you you were rejecting yourself. You wasn't showing up for yourself. And that is what the divine masculines do. They reflect it back to you. And you have to take that responsibility. And you're, you're able to take that responsibility when you're in your heart space, when you're actually supporting yourself and giving love to yourself, divine feminines. So this divine masculine hasn't been honest with you. That's what's coming through. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But I feel as this divine masculine has been quiet and they've just been hiding how they truly feel for you. But they're but building the courage up to actually tell you face to face. Um, and, you know, you are so different. Um, and they've had to learn so much by this meeting with you. It's opened up so much. <laughs> um, and they're in, again, they're very fascinated by you. Look, I'm horny. When I'm with you, I can't think straight. I act weird and crazy because I want you so bad. You're just so gorgeous to me. I, I can't control myself. So, I, you know, you have this knowing that this divine masculine feels this way. But it's so frustrating for you, divine him, because they can't, <laughs> because they haven't told you. So it's just like you're alone on this. Um, but they be they have they've behaved in crazy ways, which you've picked up on, I expect, where they're just all over the place because they just find you so gorgeous, so attractive. Um, so I feel that they've got to a stage now where they can't hide this, and they're feeling fearful about how they're coming towards you and how you know what they're actually going to say to you because they've been hiding it for such a long time. Lying to you and, you know, lying to themselves, but it's it's so intense. <laughs> they can't do this anymore and their life isn't working anymore by them lying to themselves, by denying this love, because it won't go away. It doesn't matter what they're doing, what they're going through in their life. It just comes back stronger and stronger. 
Um, so, and life just becomes harder and everything's just blocked. Nothing makes any sense. So that's what they're doing is learning through these experiences about themselves and learning to feel safe to actually love you, divine feminines, to love themselves. Um, so let's see what comes through with the divine masculine honesty and realizations from beautiful Sandra from World Illuminator 11. What else is coming through on this very powerful day, divine masculine? So this one just flipped out and fell onto my feet so true self i'm going through my awakening and opening up to my true self i'm learning grand awakening right now for the divine masculine in this new moon in aries solar eclipse a whole new chapter is opening up and it's intense the way it's opening up and they're learning to remain in their truth. So this one wants to come as well. I'm I'm working on my healing myself because I want to be present and available in every possible way in a relationship with you. So this is about being in the present moment for them not to get too overwhelmed by planning things, you know, in the future. Being present is important to the divine masculine to really show up for you, divine feminines, not to be distracted by the fear by this by that and everything else that's going on outside of them they really want to take everything in that you're saying they want to give you their attention 100 percent to show how interested they really are not to have their mask up to show you their true self so what else is coming through nice clear message so that one did a somersault grateful i'm so grateful for you opening up things in my life making me aware of who i am <laughs> and what i actually want out of life i'm so grateful for the love that you've shared with me so far and that you, that you always show up for me no matter what so that one fresh eyes yeah my perception has changed since our separation, which is preparation, I have started seeing things from a different perspective. My eyes are opening up to a whole new world that I never knew existed before. So I have fresh eyes. And there is a beautiful song actually called Fresh Eyes. So you may have heard that recently. Um, and it's actually confirming with you that that was from your divine masculine. But they've had to change their perception because they cannot, like things couldn't stay the same because life hasn't been working by them to seeing things you know black and white they've had to open their mind and to be able to open their mind they have to be in their heart space and to, for them to open their heart um to themselves but it's so important that you know that they are always going to be forever grateful for what you've done for them how you've changed their life for the better and there has been times where they've been so against you and they wish you'd never ever come into their life but they've changed that now because they've been so deep within because they've had to learn they've been forced to learn about themselves and about what this journey really is by the different things that have happened in their life um, and they have been flat on their face they have experienced pain that you cannot describe um, but they're rising, this divine masculine is rising and they're finding that courage and that strength to have that face-to-face -face conversation with you. Um, and they're open to receive this support, this love from God, from the universe and the angels. They're seeking the answers. They're very, very in tune, this divine masculine and they're in their truth. And the, the things are opening up more and more um, for this divine masculine as well. And this grand awakening is happening. Um, but it's important that they show up for you. Beautiful divine feminines, that they're 100% present because they want to give you their all. That is the truth. They've always wanted to give you their all, but they didn't feel it before. They didn't feel as if they could give you anything because they weren't showing up and giving this love to themselves. And that's because that was what was going on for you as well, divine feminines. You was denying yourself. And that's what was shown to you. But that is all changing and reunion. Our reunion is inevitable. It's only a matter of time. See you soon, my love. Yeah, see me soon. 
I'm on my way. And you know that your Divine Masculine's on their way because you're on your way. You're so close to home. Um, and your Divine Masculine is with you. Whatever you're doing for yourself, when you're remaining in your truth, focused on yourself, moving forwards in your life, your Divine Masculine does come with you. And again, when you're in your heart space, you know that you can feel your Divine Masculine. You know the truth. But we get bombarded at times with these intense energies of you know, this confusion and the certain things are happening. It's like, oh my goodness, is this really happening? You're having to push through hard to see through that pain, to see through the illusions, to, to, to always know to remain in your truth because you trusting that, that, that knowing within you of what's going on. You know big things are happening behind the scenes. Even if your divine masculine is silent, or even if they're in communication and they're still not showing up, you know big things are happening, beautiful soul. So I really do hope that this resonates with you and it's helped you um, remain in your truth and it's given you a deeper understanding of what's going on with this physical person that's come into your life and what's going on with you, beautiful divine feminines. Make sure you do take good care of yourself and that you are present you're in the here and the now because that is where the power is and if you would like support on your awakening journey i am offering readings and one-to-one -one sessions my email is zoe aligning with my soul at gmail.com but all the information about the services i offer is in the description box down below and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe like and share because it really does help my channel grow that's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. Make sure you press that notification bell. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya.